There you go. All right. Okay, behind this army, there, were a tr there was a trailing mob similar to these prisoners who followed the evil army, but very different in nature. These seemed to be very happy people and were playing games, singing songs, feasting, and roaming around about from one little camp to the next. It reminded me of the atmosphere at Woodstock. I tried to raise my voice above the clamor to warn them that this is not the time for this, that the battle was about to begin, but only as a few could hear, but only as few could he even hear my voice. Those who did gave me the peace sign and they said they did not believe in war and that the Lord would not let anything bad happen to them. I tried to explain that the Lord had given us armor for a reason, but they just retorted that they had come to a place of peace and joy where nothing would happen to them. I began to pray earnestly for the Lord to increase their faith of those with the armor to help us protect those who were not ready for the battle. Hey, babe, message... can you, wait real quick. Can you mute those who aren't uh, reading yet? Sure. Sorry. You got that. That's okay. It's because my, my here is going. Here. Oh, I see. A messenger came up to me, gave me a trumpet, and told me to blow it quickly. I did, and those who had on at least some of their armor immediately responded, snapping to attention. More armor was brought to them, which they put on quickly. I noticed that those who had wounds did not put armor over their wounds, but before I could say anything about these enemy arrows, before I could say anything about these enemy arrows began running down, raining down on us. Everyone who did not have on all of his or her armor was wounded. Those who had not covered their wounds were struck again in the same place. The, those who were hit, let's see, I'm sorry. Those who were hit by arrows of slander immediately began to slander those who were not wounded. Those who were hit with gossip began to gossip. And soon a major division had been created within our camp. Then vultures swooped down to pick up the wounded to deliver them into the camp of the prisoners. The wounded still had swords and could have smitten the vultures easily, but they didn't. They were actually carried off willingly because they were so angry at the rest of us. Can't hear you, Alan. Babe, can you unmute her? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was muted. <laughs> the scene among those in the camp behind our army was even worse. They, there seemed to be total chaos. Thousands lay on the ground wounded and groaning. Many of those who were not wounded just sat in a stupor of unbelief. The wounded and those who sat in unbelief were being quickly carried away by the vultures. Some were trying to help the wounded and keep the volunteers off of the, or the vultures off of them. But the wounded were so angry, they would threaten and drive away those who were trying to help them. Many who were not wounded were simply running as fast as they could from the scene of the battle. This first encounter with the enemy was so devastating that I was tempted to join them in their flight. Can you scroll up? Then very quickly, some, who, some of these began repeating or reappearing with full suits of armor on the large sorry, with full suits of armor on and large shields. The mirth of the party had changed into an awesome resolve. They began to take their places, the places of those who had fallen, and even began forming new ranks to protect the rear and flanks. These brought great courage and everyone resolved to stand, to stand and fight until death. Immediately, three great angels named Faith, Hope, and Love came and stood behind us, and everyone's shield began to grow. The highway. We had swords named the word of God and arrows that were named for biblical truths. We wanted to shoot back, but did not know how to without hitting the Christians that were ridden by the demons. Then it occurred to us that if these Christians were hit with the truth, they would wake up and fight off their oppressors. I fired off a few rounds. Almost all of them hit Christians. However, when the arrow of truth went into them, they did not wake up or fall down wounded. They became enraged, and the demon riding on them grew much larger. This shocked everyone, and we began to feel that this may be an impossible battle to win. But with faith, hope, and love, we were very confident that we could at least hold our own ground. Another angel named Wisdom then appeared and directed us to fight from the mountain behind us. All right, I'm going to reread that because we're on new territory now. 
We had swords named the Word of God and arrows that were named for biblical truths. We wanted to shoot back, but did not know how to without hitting the Christians that were ridden by the demons. Then it occurred to us that if these Christians were hit with the truth, they would wake up and fight off their oppressors. I fired off a few arrows. Almost all of them hit Christians. However, when the arrow of truth went into them, they did not wake up or fall down wounded. They became enraged, and the demon riding on them grew much larger. This shocked everyone, and we began to feel that this may be an impossible battle to win. But with faith, hope, and love, we were very confident that we could at least hold our own ground. Another angel named Wisdom then appeared and directed us to fight from the mountain behind us. You're muted again, Mom, and it's your turn. I muted you, so that's why you're muted. So, so unmute yourself. Unmute. Try again. Oh, so dang it, I muted you right after. I'm so sorry. I was trying to do the unmute button. Go ahead. You mute. You did unmute yourself though. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Sorry, the dogs are here playing. On the mountain, there were ledges at different levels for as high as you could see. At each higher level, that the ledges, also ledges, became narrower and harder to stand on. Each level was named after a biblical truth. The lower levels were named foundational truths such as salvation, sanctification, <clears throat> prayer, faith, etc. And the higher levels were named after more advanced biblical truths. The higher we climbed, the larger both our shields and our swords grew, and, if, and fewer of the enemy arrows could reach that position. On the mountain, there were ledges at different levels. Um, there are mountains at different levels for as high as you could see. At each higher level, the ledges became more, became narrower and harder to stand on. Each level was named after a biblical truth. The lower levels were named after foundational truths such as salvation, sanctification, prayer, faith, etc. And the higher levels were named after more advanced biblical truths. The higher we climbed, the larger both our shields and swords were uh, swords grew, and the fewer the enemy errors could reach them, reach that position. A tragic mistake. Some who had stayed on the lower levels began picking up the enemy arrows and shooting them back. This was a tragic mistake. The demons easily dodged the arrows and let them hit the Christians. When a Christian was hit by one of the arrows of accusation or slander, a demon of bitterness or rage would fly in and perch on that arrow. He would then begin to urinate and defecate his poison upon that Christian. When a Christian had two or three of these demons added to the pride or self-righteousness he already had, he began to change into the contorted image of the demons themselves. Some, <clears throat> some who had stayed on the lower levels began picking up the enemy arrows and shooting them back. This was a tragic mistake. The demons easily dodged the arrows and let them hit the Christians. And when a Christian was hit by one of the arrows of accusation or slander, a demon of bitterness or rage would fly in and perch on that arrow. He would then begin to urinate and defecate his poison upon that Christian. When a Christian had two or three of these demons added to the pride or self-righteousness that he already had, he began to change into the contorted image of the demons themselves. We could see this happening from the higher levels but those on the lower levels who were using the enemy's arrows could not see it. Half of us decided to keep climbing, while the other half descended back to the lower levels to explain to those still on them what was happening. Everyone then was then warned to keep climbing and not stop, except for a few stationed themselves on each level to keep the other soldiers moving higher. We could see this happening from the higher levels, but those on the lower levels who were using the enemy's arrows could not see it. 
Half of us decided to keep climbing while the other half descended back to the lower levels to explain to those still on them what was happening. Everyone was warned to keep climbing and not stop, except for a few who stationed themselves on each level to keep the other soldiers moving higher. Safety. When we reached the level called the Unity of the Brethren, none of the enemy's arrows could reach us. Many in our camp decided that was as far as they needed to climb. I understood this because with each new level, the footing was more precarious. However, I also felt much stronger and more skillful with my weapons the higher I went, so I continued climbing. When we reached the level called the Unity of the Brethren, none of the enemy's arrows could reach us. That's like so huge. That that is why unity is so powerful. This is why patterns and uh, what we refer to as a religious habit is so powerful. It's like these unifying patterns. That's just unbelievable. Okay, none of the enemy's arrows could reach us. Many in our camp decided that, let's see, many in our camp decided that was as far as they needed to climb. I understood this because with each new level, the footing was more precarious. However, I also felt much stronger and more skillful with my weapons the higher I went. So I continued climbing. Anybody wanna have any thoughts on that? I feel like that paragraph right there is like loud. So let's sit here. I, I also, do you mind if I, I was just gonna comment on it too. Um, how it says that I also felt much stronger and more skillful with my weapons the higher I went. So um, not only was the uh, unity helping him, but the his, he felt much stronger and more skillful full, like the higher he climbed up the mountain of the Lord. Like it was like sh skill was being imparted to him. Mm. Are you waiting for us to talk? No, we're just wait, waiting. No, anyone has any thoughts on this little paragraph here? Well, obviously unity is a huge gigantic thing. It's kind of what's going on in the world right now. Divide and fall. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's trying to unmute so he can say something, but I think he's having a problem. Yep, we definitely can't hear you at all, Jack. So. Must not be that. Must not be that important what you have to say. Yeah, can you unmute him? <laughs> no, can't unmute him. I don't unmute people. I give people the ability to unmute. So he, I, I can't, un I can't physically make his computer be unmuted. Um, let's see. Yeah. This must be, this must be really important, Jack. <laughs> you could type into the chat if you wanted. I could read it for you. Um, now, so I guess we can just go on. All right, that's cool. Hello. I think, I think it's my mom's turn to read, right? Oh. Or was it Tammy's? No, I think it's mine. Okay. Soon my skills were good enough to shoot and hit the demons without hitting the Christians. I felt that if I kept going higher, I could shoot far enough to hit the leaders of the evil horde who stayed behind the army. I was sorry that so many had stopped on the lower levels where they were safe but could not hit the enemy. Even so, the strength and character that grew in those who kept climbing made the great champions, made them great champions, each of which I knew would destroy many of the enemy. 
Soon my skills were good enough to shoot and hit the demons without hitting the Christians. I felt that if I kept going higher, I could shoot far enough to hit the leaders of the evil horde who stayed behind their army. I was sorry that so many had stopped on the lower levels where they were safe but could not hit the enemy. Even so, the strength and character that grew in those who kept climbing made them great champions, each of which I knew would destroy many of the enemy. At each level, there were arrows of truth scattered about, which I knew were left from those who had fallen from that position. All of the arrows were named after the truth of that level. Some were reluctant to pick up those arrows, but I knew we needed all that we could to destroy the great horde below. I picked one up, shot it, and so easily hit a demon that the others started picking them up and shooting them. We began to decimate this we began to decimate several of the enemy divisions. Because of this, the entire evil army focused it focused its attention on us. For a time it seemed the more we achieved, the more we were opposed. Through our ta though our task seemed endless, it had become exhilarating. At each level, there were arrows of truth scattered about which I knew were left from those who had fallen from that position. All of the arrows were named after the truth of that level. Some were reluctant to pick up these arrows, but I knew we needed all that we could to destroy the great horde below. I picked one up, shot it, and so easily hit a demon that the others started picking them up and shooting them. We began to decimate several of the enemy divisions. Because of this, the entire evil army focused its attention on us. For a time, it seemed the more we achieved, the more we were opposed. Though our task seemed endless, it had become exhilarating. I, I love this. This is awesome. Um, go ahead. Uh, so who said me too? Is that Ellen or Kinsey? Yeah, that was me too. Tell me what you liked. Yeah. I, I liked that it was like they were getting somewhere. Mm. They were getting somewhere. I mean, it's, it was like their task is endless, but it was exhilarating because I felt like they were getting somewhere. Amen. I, yeah, that's kind of, you just said it in different words. I like that. That's, that's, that is with the heart of what I'm thinking. Cause what I like about it is that they got better the higher they went, you know, like at first they were trying to, to exercise, you know, their faith or their shield or their arrows. Right. And then, but they kept messing up and making things worse, but the higher they went, they got more skilled with those weapons. And so it's like, Oh man, you know, like we're getting better. And I, I feel like um, that's probably my favorite part about growing in the kingdom of God is that it's like, not like a video game. When you were a kid, you play a video game and you get to the end and the credits just roll. And you're like, dude, I just spent like, you know, two months of my life, hours upon hours a day. I finally beat this video game. And then all it does is tell me that some guy from Japan whose name I can't pronounce, you know what I mean? Did the graphics on it. Like, but I, I remember thinking, what, what, what could it do? What could this game offer me that would, do you know what I mean? Like, like, what did I expect? Did I think that, you know, cause I think when you're in that video game, you're in this world in your own mind. And now the world ends and all you get is credits. But in the kingdom, I mean, it's never ending revelation. It's, there's, it's a never ending increase of joy, peace, patience, kindness. Love. I mean, it's just like, and then to know that, that the higher we climb, we are able to dis decimate demons. I like that. He said, we began to decimate several of the enemy divisions. Woo. Anyways, that's my thoughts. Damn. Anyone else want to decimate enemy divisions? The word is our anchor. Our search grew as we reached each level. I almost left mine behind because it I did not seem to need it at the higher levels. I finally decided that it had be, been given to me for purpose. So I had better keep it. <clears throat> I drove it into the ground and I tied myself to it while I shot at the enemy. The voice of the Lord then came to me saying, you have used the wisdom that will enable you to keep climbing. Many have fallen because they did not use their sword properly to anchor themselves. 
No one else seemed to hear this voice, but many saw what I had done and did the same thing. Amen. Our swords I, grew. I, as I don't get that one, really. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I will once you read it. Well, just real quick, um, from earlier when we were, or from the last time, the sword was the word of God. So the word of, oh. he used the word of God to anchor himself um, gotcha. into, into the ground. So that was, that's why I said amen, because that's awesome. Our swords grew as we reached each level. I almost, I mean, that was my interpretation at least. Um, I almost left mine behind because I did not seem to need it at the higher levels. I finally decided that it had been given to me for a purpose, so I'd better keep it. I drove it into the ground and tied myself to it while I shot at the enemy. The voice of the Lord then came to me saying, you have used the wisdom that will enable you to keep climbing. Many have fallen because they did not use their sword properly to anchor themselves. No one else seemed to hear this voice, but many saw what I had done and did the same thing. Hey, babe, real quick, uh, Ella, you're actually, you're muted still, Tammy. Um, so this word, if you remember last week, we talked about the full armor of God. Right. And the full armor of God was, because because Paul said, in fact, babe, uh, can you pull that up? Um, or should I that up? You are the one sharing screen, so. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through like 18 or something like that. You still want, you want me to pull it up and read it? Yeah, well, pull, pull it up. And I was thinking about that this week and thinking, I need to get that straight in my head what the full armor of God is. Here, I'll pull it up, babe. I was sorry, I was trying to do it. I mean, I just wasn't doing it. That's okay. It's probably easier if I just do it right here anyways, right? Okay. Um, I'll do the NASB. NASB. Okay, here we go. Can you guys see it? Yeah. All yeah. right, Ellen, go ahead and read that, starting with verse 10. Me? Yeah. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of the darkness, against the spiritual forces of weakness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the full armor of God so that you will be able to resist the evil day, resist in the evil day. And having done everything to stand firm, stand firm, therefore, having girded up your loins with truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. In addition to all, taking up the shield of faith with which you will be able to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of spirit, which, the, which is the word of God. Keep going. No, no, you're good. Amen. So the, of all those, so basically Paul's saying, hey, we're not really warring against flesh and blood. Okay, we're warring against powers and principalities and dark forces of wickedness in heavenly places. They happen to be manifesting through people and through circumstances and even trying to manifest through us. But the real enemy is, is these wicked forces, right? And mm -hmm. so he's like, look, there are spiritual weapons and then there's carnal weapons. Like all throughout the Bible uh, in the New Testament, he talks about the, like basically the different, there's, there's practical weapons like or, or like a, a shovel you'd use to dig dirt well in the spirit we have weapons and in the weapons of this war is the full armor of god and it's listed right there right keep on the full armor of god and it's it's a number of things right uh, your loins girded with truth uh the breastplate of righteousness righteous living is like a breastplate that guards your heart um, shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Actually, that means sharing the gospel is actually a part of what protects us against the enemy. Um, and then in addition, taking up the shield of faith, which extinguishes the flaming arrows. So, so all of these are elements, right, of this war. And so these are the weapons that we have to, to, to guard ourselves against, against the enemy. Okay. So then when it says, though, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, it's, it's the only offensive weapon. It's, it's a very powerful one. And we don't even fully understand it fully. Like, we, but, but we know that it's, it's one of our offensive weapons. And this is why um, from, from a young age in Christ, I was taught that, that um, there's, there's basically three things 
that I need to be a good steward of if I want to grow and not get taken out by the enemy. I need to just be a steward, kind of like, um, you know, you, you are a steward of, of those dogs probably better than, than I would be, wouldn't you say? Oh, of course. <laughs> okay. All right. And some people are really better stewards of their vehicles, right? Uh, other people are stewards of their lawn, you know? I was not a great steward of our lawn back at the house in North Ogden, right? I was. <laughs> I, Hence the until, hiring of, of lawn caretakers. Until I hired lawn care people, because I just wasn't a great lawn steward. So I became one by getting someone else who likes to do that, to do it. Well, we have to steward three things. Prayer, our prayer life. PWR, actually, power. Like the power button on a TV, PWR, power. We need to steward our prayer life. The word of God meaning the Bible, and words that God speaks to us. But start with the Bible. That's the best, because those are for sure we won't hear that wrong. We might hear something that we think is God that might not be God, but the Bible is true regardless. So we start with the Word of God. So steward prayer, the Word of God, and then R is relationships. We get rid of relationships that are a bad influence, and we embrace relationships that are a good influence. And so those three things, we steward PWR if we want to walk in power. And the word, so the word is a sword. And so amongst a lot of Christian circles, people will refer to their Bibles as their sword. This is my sword. And I say that just to say that a month ago or so, you were telling me, hey, where do I start reading? And I was like, hey, start with like Matthew, the gospel of Matthew, and just work your way through it. But Whatever stewarding like looks like to be a good steward for you can look a little different than being a good steward for me. But either way, figuring out a game plan for, for, for hearing the word of God, for reading the word of God, uh, will keep your sword growing. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, and like one of our game plans right now is, is going to mass on Sundays. We're going to hear the word of God being read even through masks. <laughs> uh, and then come in here on Wednesday night obviously we're going to get into the word of God um, but then taking your Bible and this is for all of us right and just having a game plan for what am I doing to get into the word we do these things actually Ellen I just thought of this right now the, um, we have all these prayer meetings that we do but for our prayers we actually have liturgy we're reading and the liturgy that we read from it's right there on the screen is so chock full of the word of God so that if we go to prayer meetings on zoom, or if I just like tonight, I didn't even run it. I just listened in. I'm hearing the word of God. Um, Kenzie, Tammy chime in on just the, the word of God inside those prayer liturgy. Tammy, you said, I didn't want to walk off. Yeah, Tammy, go ahead. Somebody talking to, are you talking about um, things that are in the Bible that we that we uh, read? Yeah, like would you say that all the per, per stuff that you're doing is also filling you up with Word of God? Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you're going to get more from the Word itself, but yes. Yeah. Everything so. that we read is, is considered, uh, is coming from the Bible, mostly everything. I mean, it might not be straight you know, yeah. but it's, um, coming from it. Yeah. But yeah. so go ahead, babe. I was just going to expound on what Tim was saying. So like the liter, you're talking specifically about the litanies, right? Yeah. What I'm saying to Ellen is that like, kind of like how when, when, if you go on a keto diet, right, it's like you, you find yourself having like, well, what do I do for lunch at work? And so until you figure out how to work keto into your lunch at work, you know what I'm saying? And, and what I'm saying is, is that stewarding our P and our W and our R is so important. And one of the ways that we've figured out how to, how to increase our W, because your mom's already going to mass. She's already coming here on Wednesday nights. She has a Bible. But I was also saying that she'll also ingest it. We are, we are ingesting it at least through even our prayer meetings because we've worked so much word into the liturgy. That was my point. Uh. Indeed. Yeah. Yep. And, and then there's nothing to expound on. Amen. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well um, in terms of like the liturgy that we're reading, it's definitely like, it may not be um, specific scripture verses, but they are expounding like every, uh, all of the litanies are going into and reading like 
parts of the stories of of the of the gospels you know so like we're getting to hear um in our prayer meetings specifically we're going through and we're reading i'm sorry are you talking about mass now <laughs> i'm thinking about the litanies again no, i'm talking about i'm talking about mass i mean i'm talking about the prayer meetings yeah 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 because, so the, because they're another option not only could your mom if she wanted to yeah i was just gonna say so i think that if you were to come to the rosaries that would be picking up some word without actually getting into your bible amen yes and that's what i was saying is that the like because the rosaries they they do the they go through the different parts of the gospel so like the uh joyful mystery goes through like the the, the announcement of jesus's birth then the visitation of, of of mary and elizabeth you know it goes through the different parts and so when we're going through those litanies they specifically go through like details of those stories that maybe the scriptures don't specifically mention but allude to but here's the theme it's not just that you can go to them online you can also listen to them on youtube because we upload them to youtube so like every every day at 6 a.m every day you know we have a bunch of them we have this calendar just like we have the final quest on a calendar and so um actually here i can actually do this what happens is um as soon as we get done doing the we go to our live zoom event calendar here at the flame dash keepers I don't know if you can see this, but all of these are, these are all just when we have these live Zoom prayer meetings. I'm not at all of them. Kenzie's not at all of them. It's just different people leading them, right? But it's, but these prayer meetings are designed to actually, um, there's a time where you can give prayer requests, yes, but then we get into a liturgy reading of prayer. It's like prayerful reading, and it covers all of these meditative, like, parts of the Bible. But as soon as we're done with these things, you just click on it, and then it has, like, a link inside the Zoom link. But... Once we get done, we upload them to YouTube. So like, let's say you're at work or whatever, or you're in the car driving, you know, um, those are great times. You just throw headphones in and you listen to these prayer meetings and you will hear the word of God, like just, just flowing. And it's, dude, they're, it's just very powerful. Anyways, um, so that's that. I'm just throwing out tools. Kind of like, kind of like when we throw out keto recipes. And some you'll like and others you'll want to make and others you're like, nah, I don't want that. So we're just throwing out the different keto recipes, but those uh, those prayer means good good word of God inside there to make our swords stronger and uh, cut deeper through the enemy. All right, where are we at? Um, I think we're on. I wondered, and and another thing is when we're doing the rosary thing with other people. They, you know, iron sharpens iron. We're, we're giving each other words and whatnot. And, and somebody has something that someone else doesn't have to say. And so I learn from other things that other people are saying. So just like to say iron sharpens iron. Hmm. Okay. I wondered why the Lord had not spoken to me before. Wait, I wondered why the Lord had not spoken to me before I had made this decision. I then had a sense of knowing that he had already spoken this to me somehow. Then I perceived that my whole life had been training for this hour. I was prepared to the degree that I had lis listened to the Lord and obeyed him through my life. I also knew that for some reason, the wisdom and understanding I now had could not be added to or taken away from while in this battle. I became profoundly thankful for every trial I had experienced in my life and sorry for not appreciating them more at the time. Ooh, that's good. That is good. I wondered why the Lord had not spoken to me before I had made this decision. I then had a sense of knowing that he had already spoken this to me somehow. Then I perceived that my whole life had been training for this hour. I was prepared to the degree that I had listened to the Lord and obeyed him throughout my life. I also knew that for some reason, the wisdom and understanding I now had could not be added to or taken away from while in this battle. I became profoundly thankful for every trial I had experienced in my life and sorry for not appreciating them more at the time. Just wanted to make a quick comment on that was really interesting when he says that he realized that he the that he, he could he had the understanding that he now had could not be added to or taken away while in this battle. That's so, that's, I've never noticed that he said that. That is, that's like a great way of putting it. It's like when you're in the middle of a testing or a trial, it's like you're, you're relying on all this stuff that, that's already put in you 
you know? And so it's like, you have to rely on the tools you have now for this particular battle. That was, I, that was just great. But sorry, go ahead and go to the next part. Amen, amen. Soon we were hitting the demons with almost perfect accuracy. Rage rose from the enemy like fire and brimstone. I knew that the Christians trapped in, the, in that army were now feeling the brunt of that rage. Unable to hit us, they were now sh shooting at each other. With his arrows now in ineffective against the enemy, or against us, the enemy sent the vultures to attack. Those who had not used their swords as anchors were able to strike down many of the vultures, but they too were being knocked from the ledges where they were, where they were standing. Some of these landed on a lower level, but some fell all the way to the bottom and were picked up and carried off by the vultures. Soon we were hitting the demons with almost perfect accuracy. Rage rose from the enemy army like fire and brimstone. I knew that the Christians trapped in that army were now feeling the brunt of that rage. Unable to hit us, they were now shooting at each other. With his, with his arrows now in, ineffective against us, the enemy sent the vultures to attack. Those who had not used their swords as anchors were able to strike down many of the vultures, but they too were being knocked from the ledges and they were, that they were standing. Some of these landed on lower levels, but some fell all the way to the bottom and were picked up and carried off by the vultures. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of um, like when I was in school and, uh, and I, you have a class that's building on itself and you get to a certain spot where you go, oh, I wish I would have like, you know what I mean, been paying attention more two months ago, but now I'm going to have to take this test. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's like, uh, you know, he's basically, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. It's like, oh man, I want to make the most of wherever I'm at right now. Do you know what I'm saying? Because, because two years from now is going to get here regardless. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it, two years is coming. The clock's not stopping. You know what I'm saying? Like, It'll be here one day. It'll be two years from now, dude. And it's like, what did I do with these two years? <laughs> I, I don't want to enter into a battle and be like, dang, I, you know, I should have been, you know, strengthening this or doing that. You know, I mean, there's always going to be some level of wishing you'd done more, I'm sure, but goodness. Dude, my... from, coming from somebody like me, who was just like, whatever. To, to read that section was like, holy shit. <laughs> you can't just be partially in a little bit kind of, mm, it's t t t tipping your toe in. You can't. Mm. It's all in or all out. Pick a side. That's it. That's it. Seriously. Amen. Yeah. yeah, that's like, that's the, like what you just said was just like what Jesus said in Revelations where he said, he says, uh, either you either be um, hot or cold, but don't be lukewarm. Yeah. <laughs> if you're lukewarm, I'll spit you out of my so, mouth. <laughs> yeah. There's so much lukewarm and most of us are lukewarm. I mean, a lot of us are lukewarm. And that's why, like, I've always been like your brother, you know, full board or dead stop. And right now, when I realized what, where I was at and what I was doing was not where I was supposed to be, then it's like all of a sudden full board, you know, now I know, Man. but you can't, you can't be like, just like, eh, kind of. Yeah. It's like trying to tread water in a flowing river. You know, the, the river is going to carry you back. You either have to be swimming upstream or it's pulling you back. You know, that's yeah. true. Very true. The battle is real. Yep. Yes. Amen. Who's up now? I don't even know who's up. I, I think I am. A new weapon. The arrows of truth would rarely penetrate the vultures, but they hurt them enough to drive them back. Every time we were driven back, some of us would climb to the next level. When we reached the level called Galatians 2.20, we were above the altitude that the vultures could fly. At this level, the sky above almost blinded us with its brightness and beauty. I felt peace like I had never felt it before. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna reread this, but we need to look at Galatians 2.20 because I want whatever he just said that is right there. Let me see here. Right. <laughs> the arrows of truth would rarely penetrate the vultures, 
but they hurt them enough to drive them back. Okay, I want to I want to be able to drive some vultures back. Okay, every time they were driven, but this book is so crazy. I've read this book like fifty times, and every time I read it, I'm just like blowing my mind. Okay, here we go. Every time they were driven back, some of us would climb to the next level. I think we're doing that with prayer, guys. We're we're pushing vultures back with prayer and allowing you know people and cities and nations to come to the next level of understanding. Okay. When we reached the level they call Galatians 2.20, we'll get to that in a second, we were above the altitude that the vultures could fly. That's where I want to be. I want to be above some level of attack here. Okay, at this level, the sky above almost blinded us with its brightness and its beauty. I like that. Yeah, baby, I want to be blinded by beauty and brightness. I felt peace like I had never felt it before. Okay, let's figure out what Galatians 2.20 is here. I have it here, but, oh, you, you can pull that down. I'll go ahead and share screen if you want. No, it's okay. You're already sharing screen. Go ahead. Okay. Let me just. Uh, yeah, you're already at the Bible gateway. All right. Galatians 2.20. All right. You want to read that, anybody? I will. I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself up for me. Ooh, buddy. Yeah. Let's, all, let's all read that. I'm going to read it. I have been, this is what we want. This is our prayer right now. Uh, Lord Christ have mercy. Hear us with this one. We want this right here. I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who lives, but Christ who lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself up for me. Whew. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. In the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who so loved me, he gave himself up for me. I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself up for me. Amen. Amen. Let's see something real quick here. Um, where was that? Let me do this. Um, what you looking for? I'm grabbing this theme. I want to look at this. Uh, Tuesday. I'll be right back while you're looking. Okay. Not even the heavens. You're thinking of putting it in there somewhere? There's, um, dude, it's the, uh, which one? So you know, okay, here we go. Give, give us a hint. We might know which one you're talking about. Can thinking. you see it? I'm just thinking of, um, the, uh, not the scourging of the pillar, but the, uh, oh man, the, the litany of the most precious blood. Um, you have uh, to be crucified with Christ. Oh, that's why you guys are up there. All right. Can you hear me? So, uh, hello. Can you hear me? He, he turned hey, to look at you. Hey, hello. Like hello. Up, buddy. Tammy, that's my, Tammy Jack, that's my dog. <laughs> Say hi, mom. Hi, dad. Hi, doggy. <laughs> I like that doggy. Can, Can you hear me, Tammy? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm. Is that your mom? I know. Is that your mom? He's trying to come over now. Oh, buddy. You don't know where she is, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Let's, uh, hey, do this. This is because it says we want to be uh, crucified with Christ, right? This is a, uh, a litany um, that, that ab about Christ being crucified. Uh, let's do this real quick because this one's short. It's just this thing right here, and we'll just read it at the bottom there. Uh, you guys want to go, Ellen, how about you be black and uh, Kinsey be red? Okay, so it starts with blood of Christ. Yes. Uh -huh. Sorry, I got to make it bigger. Blood of Christ, only begotten Son of the Eternal Father, save us. <clears throat> blood of Christ, incarnate Word of God, save us. Blood of Christ, of the New and Eternal Testament, save us. Blood of Christ, falling upon the earth in the agony, save us. Blood of Christ, shed profusely in the scourging, save us. Blood of Christ flowing forth in the crowning with thorns. Save us. Blood of Christ poured out on the cross. Save us. Blood of Christ, price of our salvation. Save us. Blood of Christ, without which there is no forgiveness. Save us. Blood of Christ, Eucharistic drink and refreshment of souls. Save us. Blood of Christ, stream of mercy. Save us. Blood of Christ, victor over demons. Save us. Blood of Christ, courage of martyrs. Save us. Blood of Christ, strength of confessors. Save us. Blood of Christ, bringing forth virgins. Save us. Blood of Christ, help of those in peril. Save us. Blood of Christ, relief of the burdened. Save us. Blood of Christ, solace in sorrow. Save us. Almost Blood done. of Christ. Oh, we stopping? No, it's almost done. Blood of Christ, hope of the, pe the penitent. Save us. Blood of Christ, consolation of the dying. Save us. Blood of Christ, peace of tenderness of heart. Peace and tenderness of heart. Save us. Blood of Christ, pledge of eternal life. Save us. Blood of Christ, freeing souls from purgatory. Save us. Blood of Christ, most worthy of all glory and honor. Save us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Thou hast redeemed us, O Lord, in thy blood. And made us, for our God, a kingdom. Do you want me to read that? Yeah, yeah. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, thou hast appointed thine only begotten Son, the Redeemer of the world, and willed to be the appeased by his blood. Grant, we beg of thee, that we may worthily adore this price of our salvation, and through its power be safeguarded from the evils of of the present life, so that we may replace in its fruits forever in heaven. Through the name of our Christ, our Lord. Through the, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Hmm. Okay, so I was, just, I just thought, I was thinking, if we're going to be crucified with Christ, that's a good litany. Dude, where did you get that? That was freaking awesome. Those so, are the litanies that, we're, that we were just talking about that we read over the, during our prayer meetings. Dang, I need to be involved in that. Yeah, it's good stuff. We, we read that one uh, like once a week um, or tw a couple times, and then and each they call them um, call them the mysteries of the gospel. So like one of the mysteries is just Christ being crucified, and so we we do back and forth like that, red and black, and it just addresses all these areas of your of the heart. Do you know what I mean? Where you're just like, yeah. I need all that, you know? It's <laughs> I need right. all of it. Every last bit, man. Yep. Dude, it's tender, right? All right, new weapons. We all read that. All right, who's up next now? Tammy. Me? Okay. Tammy. Oh, Tammy. Oh, oh, Tammy, okay. Previously, much of my fighting spirit had really been motivated 
out of as much hatred and disgust for the enemy as it had been for the sake of freedom, truth and love for the prisoners. But it was on this level that I caught up to faith, hope and love, which before I had only been following at a distance. On this level, I was almost overpowered by their glory. When I caught up to them, they turned, on, they turned to me and began repairing and shining my armor. Soon it was completely transformed and exuded the glory that was in them. When they touched my sword, great bolts of brilliant lightning began flashing from it. Love then said, those who reach this level are entrusted with the powers of the age to come, but I must teach you how to use them. Ooh, I want that, baby. I want that. Right? I got the chills. <laughs> Previously, much of my fighting spirit had really been motivated out of as much hatred and disgust for the enemy as it had been for the sake of the kingdom, truth, and love for the prisoners. But it was on this level that I caught up to faith, hope, and love, which before I had only been following them at a distance. On this level, I was almost overpowered by their glory. And when I caught up to them, they turned to me. Ooh, I want faith, hope, and love to turn to me. Mm -hmm. And began repairing and shining my armor. God help us. Ah, I want my armor shined and repaired by faith, hope, and love. Soon, it was completely transformed. And my armor exuded the glory that was in faith, hope, and love. And when they touched my sword, great bolts of brilliant lightning began flashing from it. Love then said, those who reach this level are entrusted with the powers of the age to come. Woo, sha! But I must teach you how to use them. The powers. All right, this is the last, this next one's our last paragraph because we got to be done by eight. I want to. The Galatians 2.20 level was so wide that there was no longer any danger of falling. There were also unlimited arrows with the name Hope written on them. We shot some of them down at the vultures and these arrows killed them easily. About half who had reached this level kept shooting while the others began carrying these arrows down to the to those still on the lower ledges. That's really awesome. Woo, hope, hope is powerful. The Galatians 220 level was so wide that there was no longer any danger of falling. There were also unlimited arrows with the name hope written on them. We shot some of them down at the vultures and these arrows killed them easily. About half of half who had reached this level kept shooting while the others began carrying these arrows down to those still on the lower levels amen amen amen, amen. i am uh, committed to keeping this to one hour and uh <laughs> so we can make so this is a uh, we're in it for the long haul and so ah uh, man thank you jesus i, I love this book man this too. Oh, i'm so glad that we're also reading each paragraph twice too because i feel like every time we read the paragraph the second time I feel like all of a sudden I'm getting, like, I'm hearing different sentences from it, you know? So it's really yeah. beneficial. Amen. Yep. Man. So, hey, um, so we're going to St. Mary this, again, this, that's, that's our, so same time, Ellen, if we don't, I'm sure we'll talk to you, but um, also we were thinking about, what we, I can't, we can't spend the night Friday, um, but. You I can just, have hot dogs? And a bonfire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have Beef. a fire pit. Yeah, totally. <laughs> That's what he was about to say, I think, right, babe? Yeah, yeah. We'll come over for dinner and we'll hang out for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, awesome. Well, I I mean, like, I get home about 6.30, so it's going to have to be after that. That's fine. In fact, we might even cruise over. I have a prayer meeting I do, actually, at 8 o'clock that lasts one hour. Actually, I'll probably do it from there, so I can do it from my Zoom, from my phone. Okay. So, so just, uh, you know, we'll probably cruise over, like, around 8-ish around then. So perfect. Yeah. Sweet. And then um also we're gonna do lunch at your house Sunday after. I don't know. I Misty, she said, well, we all got things planned on Sunday, so I I don't I know. know. Well, we wanna we wanna have lunch at your house after. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we got uh, You're we bringing got me a keto cake, right? Because I need some sugar. 
Just kidding. Oh man, I created this crazy recipe. Well, I didn't create it, I found it online. But it is. Oh man, it's okay. Oh, tell her about it. I'm gonna show her one. You know, seriously, you... there were cookies at work today, and they kept telling me to eat them, and I was like, I want to. So <laughs> have Have you ever heard? Do you remember no bake cookies? Like, yes. yes, the gorilla yes. cookies or whatever they used to call them. Yeah. Oh, I made keto version, and they oh, taste just like them. Really? really? They're yummy. Yes. Oh, look at best. those, oh. dude. Do not do it in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> they're only we'll these ones right some. here these oh sorry babe go ahead we'll have to bring some yeah yeah i was there thinking go. the same thing we'll bring some we'll try that we'll have some uh for you we'll, we'll i want to have some for you guys on friday morning too tammy Yay. Yeah. Um, but uh <laughs> these ones right here are three carbs a piece but i'm gonna buy some because i made them with almond butter but i'm gonna make them with peanut butter which will significantly reduce the carbs it'll be closer to like two carbs or 1.5 once i make them with the peanut butter peanut, but peanut butter doesn't have carbs oh, peanut butter yummy yeah yeah no peanut butter does but it's like significantly less than almond butter so but you get sugar-free peanut butter right babe yep all my peanut butter is sugar-free oh, okay. it's only made with peanuts and and butter i think they okay. use butter but pe just peanut butter. dude these things whoo buddy <laughs> they're dangerous uh -oh. They're so young. I have really got to get the hookup on this keto stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I love you guys. All right. Love, love you too. all. Tammy, thank oh. you so love much you for guys. Yep. Good 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 with us. Tell Jack we love awesome. him. Love you guys. Love you, Jack. Love you, Jack. Love you guys. Love See you guys. three. <laughs> bye. Bye. Bye-bye.